This is a review of 10 Proofs That We Don't Live on a Pair 2019 by Mind Unveiled. I just found him. I'm not terribly sure how much I trust him. I don't trust people that push Tartaria. It's, there's never proof involved. I haven't watched his video, but um, there's no proof. And, yeah, it's just it's so pointless. Mud floods. It's just. I guess they're just talking about regular floods. I, I've watched several of the videos and they're all nonsense. But, you know, people are putting out nonsense like a lot. I'm not saying I don't like this guy. I'm subscribed. Click the bell. Uh, I just discovered him yesterday, though. He released a really good video. So, first thing I want to talk about is uh, these proofs that he's got listed. It's not a good list of proofs. It really isn't. There's historical amnesia, which is saying that we don't understand history. We don't know actually what our history is. And that's true. However, the only part of it that matters is the break away from the Catholicism, the Protestant Reformation. That's that's the only part of any history that matters to you. And then there's the Bible before that. So, um, I am a history minor, though, and sure enough, I have to admit that even events going on today are not clearly established history. You know, things like 9-11, so on and so forth. Big bank history. Uh, constellations stay the same size. This is really hard to prove, and no one's going to look. I I promise you. It's uh, I run a channel where I just point out how the moon is definitely proof of a flat Earth. And it certainly does not work at all on the heliocentric model. So my my only goal is really to get people to look at the moon. And that's not uh, coming up with any contraptions to to measure anything. So people don't, they won't even look at the moon. My own mother won't even look at the moon. They, just, they don't want to know. you got to understand it. It never had anything to do with information. However, this information, it's not good. Uh, it says 10 proofs. So they need to be proof. The sun is not 93 million miles away. Now, obviously, we don't think it is. Since we can only measure the angular speed and size of it, there's no way to figure out how far away it is. Both can't be seen because of perspective. And they are actually not going over any curve. Yeah, that's that's a good proof. Water always finds its level. That's also a good proof. Submarines and planes use plane trigonometry. That I believe they do. And that's the kind of the problem with it is that we're not all piloting planes and doing the trigonometry on it. A lot of pilots don't even do any math. They just tell the computer where to go. So, NASA fraud in the occult, yeah, that's good. Um, definitely always try and get some CGI in there or something. These people can look at anything, and they will find that it's nothing but hokey. But that's the deal, is they haven't been. So, if we're going to have proof, and I just suggest that it actually has some, you know, some proof. So, the moon is not what we think. Um, it's different. We think different things. I'm a flat earther. You're a flat earther. You think totally different things than me about the moon. Planets are luminaries, not physical. It's just, it's so inconsequential. It does neither of these two matter at all. They're not even in reference to the, to the shape of the earth at all. So, and then there's the media is sick and perverted. The worst point here is his evidence on the moon. So that's what I'm going to be talking about. This footage came from Crow 777, which he is not a flat earther. So what we're about to show you, it's not proof of a flat earth, as evidenced by the person that created it not being a flat earther. The moon is not what we think. You can see stars. Let's take a look at this. If the moon is up in space, how am I able to see blue sky through it? Shouldn't it look more like this? You're saying that it's not black enough? Or, oh, yeah, it's supposed to have a black 
background. Well, the problem with light is that you only see where the light goes. So when there's no light on the side of the moon, because the sun's over that way, you can tell because that's where the, the sun's lit up. Okay, so blue sky. The sky is blue. It's got water in it. You can actually condense the water out of it. So it's certainly provable. It's obvious. So, um, yeah, it's, that's not any type of proof at all. You realize you got to know what the blue is in order to start determining that. And since we know that there's water in air, then that makes air blue. All right. Or is through the moon. I'm not going to say that this guy's not a shill because he's got this other weird stuff. I'm willing to guess that he's not Christian because that's the deal. The Bible protects you from everything. So, all right, that was the video I watched. It was a good one. Um, Tartaria. Cosmologies somehow related to Tartaria. Now we got giants, Hyperborea, Tartaria, magic. Um, no Christian stuff that I see. So I would say that I probably made a pretty good guess. And that's the deal with the Bible is that following the word protects you from being deceived. It would have protected us from thinking that we lived on a ball, and it protects you from believing in Tartarias and mud floods and these other ridiculous things. So um, none of them have evidence anyway. So I'm always suspicious of anybody that's pushing anything that's that doesn't have any evidence. You think you can see stars through the moon? But... This claim that you can see stars through the moon. That's the one made by Crow Triple Seven. So, if you want to believe that, then you're going to also have to believe my stars through the moon. The star quoting the crescent moon has long been a symbol of Islam. All right, now he's he's equating Islam. Islam. Does Islam have any place in this conversation? Yeah, may maybe somewhere, but flags nations of the world. So let's just look at this one. Let's start at the bottom. Star. Star. Star, star. These, who knows? Those are probably all stars. Um, star, can't tell, can't tell, can't tell. There's like Saturn. There's a star. Can't tell. There's a bunch of stars. There's star, moon. That's probably sun or something. Uh, maybe an eclipse or something like that. There's a star. This looks like a flat Earth map to me. There's um, what is that? Mars maybe. Um, star moon, there's uh, star moon, star, lots of stars here, um, star, star moon, um, over and over again. Here's another one, here's the sun, here's, I think that's a star, here's a couple more stars. So, yeah, the people that are hiding this from us, they, they yeah, it's stars, it's about stars. It's, uh, yeah, these guys know what the stars are, and they derive their power from lying to us about it. So that's that's the deal with the stars. It has nothing to do with Islam in particular, because it's all the countries. Every single country. While I showed you all those flags, and sure, all those flags did not have stars on them, those actual countries, they use stars on all sorts of stuff. They use them on their cops, they use them on their military, they use them on government buildings and everything. All of them. All the countries. I don't know of any countries that don't. Um, I, I believe there's like uh, 
two or something that don't have any stars. Something like that. The moon is not spherical reflection. The moon... All right, so this claim that the moon is not a sphere, it's so ridiculous. All you have to do is look at this, just look up. And then, if that doesn't do it for you, then go ahead and zoom in on it. Because these craters, they elongate the further from the light source they get. The short, when it's just a slight angle. So this here, what we're doing is we're comparing a picture of the moon to a CGI gloss finished ball with a white specular highlight placed on it. This specular highlight could be pink or orange but it wouldn't prove the point, and so that's why it isn't. But when you start comparing CGI to real items, just because they're the same shape, and then it, you expect the same results to come out of it, that's not how it works. Everything has a different texture. <laughs> so the moon is a rock up there. We can see it because we can see these ridges. We can see these stark contrasted shadows, that means that light does not penetrate the ridges. So that means that, I mean, we are going to assume that whatever makes up the ridges makes up the rest of the moon, because why wouldn't we? So if the light can't go through the ridges on these craters, then light cannot go through the entire moon. And no, it would not have a specular highlight. Moonlight does not reflect sunlight because the moon has opposing properties. Sunlight is... All right, so this might be CGI. It might also be a picture of an actual globe. However, this is a gloss on the globe. It's not a rock. It's not just a, a rock. Like when we zoom into the moon, we see a rock. It's not that. It is golden, warm, and drying. The moonlight is silver, cool, and damp. This All right, so sunlight is yellow. So that means that anything that the sun's light is getting on is yellow. So that means your grass is yellow. That means your car is yellow. That means your road is yellow. Everything is yellow because the sun is yellow. Well, we know that that's not the case, right? So <clears throat> what's the deal with that? Why, how is it that a reflector could reflect a color that's not the same? And the answer is that when, when an object has a color, like uh, red, then the light hits it, and the only thing that is reflected back to you is the red. The rest is absorbed into it. So anything that's not reflected back to you, that's not red. So this, the moon is going to be like a, a white-blue color, and certainly, that is definitely definitely different than the yellow that the sun creates. However, um, your lawn is not yellow. You understand? <laughs> These are false equivalencies. It's not good proof. And in fact, I don't even understand how a flat earther could get to this point without having this. This is not due to reflection and proves that the moon is its own light. Okay, so... That's his claim, is that because it's a different color and that it's cold light, that it's now the moon's own light, that it is creating its own light. Now, this image right here obviously proves otherwise. It's, the sad thing about this is that it, all you've got to do is observe the moon to know that the light, the lit-up side of it is the side that's facing the sun always, every moment of every day every it's always been like that so this is like a symptom of not you know not really going outside not really understanding the world around us we live inside we were raised in schools we don't you know that's that's the deal i wrote a book on the moon and i can't even get my own mother to look at the moon so it's yeah it's not a it's tough for people to actually like put in some legwork. They they just want a picture, and they want this picture to explain everything. Direct moonlight will be colder than the moon's shade. There are many ancient myths that talk... All right, so why is the moonlight colder? 
I don't know. But when light hits something, and if it is carrying heat, then that heat is going to be absorbed more than it's going to be reflected. Light reflects easy. Heat, not so much. Talk about a time when there was no moon. Are we to believe in everything we are told about the moon? No, we definitely, definitely shouldn't be doing that. All right, so I'm just going to show you the, uh, the basic. People come to my channel constantly making this claim, constantly. And it's like every single time I'm like, "What? where's your proof? What's your proof? Where's your proof? What is it? Do you have proof of that? And every single time they're like, well, heat and light are the same thing. Um, and that's why the moonlight has, is cold. Well, that's fine. But understand that A, moonlight being cold doesn't prove that you live on a flat earth. All right? So number one, that's number one. Just to start with, we're already at a proof that's not actually proof of anything. That's a problem. Number two is we don't we don't know i have no idea i've never even done the experiment maybe it works maybe it doesn't i think it probably does i uh yeah i, I couldn't tell you but what i do know is that you don't measure temperature to find out what the light is doing you need to look at the light you need to use your eye or you, a camera is built the exact same way as your eye so these are the ways that you can test for heat. Now, thermometers, then that's, that's temperature. Light is with your eyes. So you, you just prove it with your eyes. You just look at the moon. All right, so his response is, uh, <clears throat> now this guy, listen, you can believe whatever you want. I choose to believe that there's no difference between a shill and a retard. Okay, that, that's my point of view. I can't tell the difference between a retard and a shill. I can't determine what their motives are. However, I can see when someone cannot produce any evidence. And this happens over and over again on my channel. And then still tomorrow, somebody's going to show up and be like, oh, the, the moon has a different temperature. And it'll probably be underneath this video right here. Like, these people, they don't even watch the video. They're just like, here, let me tell you what it is. And then you'll be like, where's the evidence for that? And I'll be like, oh, uh, moonlight's cold, moonlight's cold, moonlight's cold. And it's like, dude, light and heat, they're not the same thing. Not the same thing. Two things. That's two different things. So, <clears throat> I was just telling him, if you actually watched this video, you'd be enlightened to that self-evident fact. His response is, do you know what light is? Actually, no. No one really knows what light is. In fact, it's been clocked as be being both, allegedly, I haven't done it, allegedly it's been clocked as being both a wave and a particle. So, no, I, I don't know what light is. It's electromagnetic radiation. Oh, does that... It, is there something about that that simplifies the situation? Because I don't think that that simplifies anything else. Thermal radiation is emitted by any surface having a temperature higher than absolute zero. So the short answer to my question is yes. Light of any frequency will heat surfaces that absorb it. Yeah. yeah. So, <clears throat> all right. We're not at that section. We're past that. Okay, so... Light, heating a surface. Now, what surface is that? It's the moon. And then what? And then it bounces to you. So, do you expect it to be the same temperature? No, I don't know why it's colder. That's an excellent question. Since it doesn't have anything to do with whether or not the earth is flat i'll leave that for later though you know since because it doesn't matter um <clears throat> but the short answer to my question is light heat it's no it's definitely 
know. So he, he tries to simplify this into something that makes it unrecognizable, which is he's admitting that any, any energy coming off of something will heat whatever it's hitting. And that means that there's now less heat left. Okay? He's admitting it in his explanation. Most of these people don't even have an attempt at an explanation. So that's why we're not talking about their comments. We're talking about his comments because he's at least, he is at least trying. Now, I think he's a troll. I'm going to end up banning him anyway. But uh, the dark moon never disappeared. I paused your video and screenshot it. Then I edited it and changed the contrast, and I could still see the dark moon. You are spreading disinformation. <laughs> uh, what you're going to want to do is download Shotcut, free video editor, and then download the original that I linked. You know, see how I'm doing all the work for you. Then you export that particular section as images. Then you make a video showing your work like I did. Your accusation is idiotic. You're claiming that I doctored footage that when you took a screenshot of, it revealed. That would directly mean that I didn't doctor anything and that it's evidenced in my footage. I don't mind answering questions, but come on, man. And he responds back, I'm not claiming you doctored. I'm telling you you did not examine well enough. Period. I don't need to make a video on your work. I'm here telling you right now you're wrong. Actually, you do need to make a video because I am going to ban you. The reason is, is the psychotic attitude you got. I, I don't care what your thoughts are at this point. Like, you can either state, put some proof of something, or you're going to go away. You know, that's, that's the truth on my channel. Because I don't, my channel's not here for you to laugh at all the retards. Because there's plenty of them. Go somewhere else. Go, go somewhere else and laugh at retards. Just type in, retards hitting each other in the nuts. You'll find tons and tons of videos. Ballers. They'll all be ballers, by the way. So, this is his next claim. This is three comments on one. This is a troll, okay? The real moon was the dark one, and was darkened due to the sun being eclipsed by heavenly bodies that entered our system. That's a claim. Ridiculous, too. No proof. That bright moon was a simulator. Another claim. Ridiculous one, too. They are trying so hard to hide these things. Yeah, they're trying so hard that they hire people to take a shit while they're getting their profile photo done to put a drug reference in there. <laughs> Look at this guy. If you don't think he's working for the trolls, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. So I'm just like, hey, any evidence for your dumb theory? Uh, I didn't think so. I prefer answering before they do because I know I know what kind of stupid shit they're going to talk about. Plenty all over YouTube, jackass, which I'm the jackass because I'm the one that can't link this plenty of evidence. So, uh, No, it continues to have more dislikes than likes because there's a bunch of trolls that can't defend their beliefs. They can't even state their beliefs, really. And when they do, it's ridiculous. It's like, you actually think that they are levitating something bigger than, a, <laughs> than the Astrodome up in the sky and lighting it up just so that they can trick people that are too dumb to even figure out the eclipses aren't working. So the 2019 lunar eclipse just happened, and as I was wrapping up, I went back inside, checked to see what was online, and sure enough, it's different than what I'm capturing with my own device right on my own porch. It's the same type of thing that we saw last year you recall the uh, Hayden Planetarium I believe is the one that released the footage that was so popular and we caught them turning the camera well same thing they're up to their same tricks this year I took this footage myself so there's no doubt about it what these people try and show you it's not reality now this lunar eclipse is clearly there's clearly a problem with it i can track down and i can track back up i can show you the earth there's the earth it's down it's always down then track up to the moon where's the shadow it's on the right side okay that doesn't make any sense the earth is down your shadow is on the right the the shadow needs to be down 
that needs to line up with the earth. If the earth is causing the shadow, the earth has to line up with this. And it doesn't. Uh, come on. They do not need to do that. Look how dumb people are. People are too lazy and too dumb to even like look at the moon or look, to look around. You tell somebody that the earth is flat and they actually ask you for evidence. Like, poof, dumbfounded. Dude, you live on a flat world. Just you give me the evidence. So, and since you asked, here you go. Straight from the patent. I'm assuming patent is a synonym for evidence. For lunar simulation apparatus characterized by comprising means for generating infrared radiation heat source, the optical modulation device, the optical attenuating means, and the parallel light generating means, said optical modulating means positioned in front of the heat source, this faggot needs to get off the Star Trek. This is just preposterous. I was thinking about slowing it down so you could read that, but I don't want to make you any dumber. So why are you copying paste, copy and pasting a bunch of words you don't understand? It can be hot when it's dark and cold when it's light. Done. All right. So his claim is that because the sun is hot, that the sun is going to make everything that it lights up hot, and, and by extension, everything that is reflected off of that object is also going to be hot. So his claim is so ridiculous. But you need to think about, like, the winter. Because you can go outside in the winter with the sun up, and it'll be 30 degrees below zero. And you'll be in the sun, and you'll walk behind a building, and it will not make you colder. Because the sun is just not even really... You can't even tell. It's negligible. I'm not saying there's no heat there. I'm saying it's negligible. So I'm just telling him, stop with the nonsense or you're getting banned. You asked for proof. I gave it to you. You looked it up because you didn't know. I wouldn't look up anything this moron told me to. If he's got some proof, then he needs to state it here or kick rocks. So, of course, when you account for atmospheric conditions, look, he is admitting, essentially, that he's a troll. Because this is just, uh, look, he's laughing about how... What he's doing is he's discrediting the flat earth big time. Same way that this video discredits the flat earth. Some of the things are okay, proofs. None of them are really great, to tell you the truth. He wasn't really showing evidence. He didn't show evidence of the... He wasn't showing evidence of the things that are easy. And then he was making other claims. So, I mean, do I like this guy, the, this video that I'm, I've been showing you? Uh, you know, he released one good video. So... <clears throat> he's probably not all that bad. However, to end up at the point where you're a flat earther and not be able to figure out the difference between a claim and a fact is it's preposterous. I, I don't even understand how you, how you make it to this point. You have to be able to distinguish between a claim like, <clears throat> like the moon produces its own light just a claim until you've got some evidence. So now, here, I'm just going to show you this counter evidence again. This is clear. This is obvious. The only answer to this that makes sense is that the light comes directly from the sun. There's no way, there is no way possible that the moon is creating its own light. And guess what? If it does, that doesn't prove the Earth is flat. I know it doesn't prove the Earth is flat because that's just basic logic. We are on the Earth, and this is the Moon. Okay? So it creating its own light or not creating its own light, that does not prove that. Just in and of itself, that does not prove anything. However, the Moon reflecting the Sun's light, which that's a true fact, that's reality, that does prove something. Because then it allows you to keep track of the sun on hours of the day, night, whenever. In the daytime, you're going to be able to see the sun with your own eyes. So you don't need to. We've always been able to do that. Great. Well, now we can do it at night. 
track the sun all night long, and because of that, you cannot get tricked. The, the moon only tells one story. So, if you're wondering why I why am I so confer, concerned about this? Well, because I have this video right here at the very top of my channel. Every single person needs to watch this, flat earthers included. How to Tell Time by the Moon, full training manual, only works on the Flat Earth model. Best proof ever. What this is is science that has no equal in heliocentrism. It has no equal. There is no... So, I mean, what it is is a win. That's win. That's, it's over with. These heliocentrists cannot explain to you why we're in these different phases without ridiculous graphics. Here, let me show you what these morons have to say about it. All right, so see these arrows? Oops. These arrows are pointing in the direction that the sunlight is supposed to be coming. All right, so they're saying that a new moon, it's dark on our side because the sun is over on this side. It's not a very good graphic, is it? Anyways, this is just Google. They don't, they don't want you to understand. It's better if it's confusing. So just real quick here, just... Can you do a straight line? Here, watch. Bam. Okay, now there's a planet here. Or, you know, a moon. And then, in order to get to the Earth, what, what needs to occur? It's got to go through this. So that means that every new moon, we should be having a, a lunar eclipse. <laughs> Jeez, like, uh, or no, excuse me, that would be a solar eclipse. And then every uh, full moon, that one would be your lunar eclipse. Oh, let's see. Would it? Yeah. Yeah, it would. Every full moon would be your lunar eclipse. So, I mean, just by, look, here. Can you draw a straight line, Globers? Look, here, you take this. this the sun's over here. So, here, watch, straight line. Bam, you ran into a thing. Do you understand you can't run into a thing? Just think about, imagine if you're driving, okay? Driving. Boom. Now, don't sit there and pretend to me that it's off some angles of degrees to make it totally perfect. This is their best explanation that pulls up on Google, and it's idiocy. All right? So that's what I'm explaining to you. Now I'm explaining to you where you find wisdom. Where you find wisdom is locating that sun all throughout the day and night. Figure it out. Because once you find out that the sun is always above the flat earth, it's, yeah, that's it. That's seeing. So if seeing is believing, well, then it's done. I mean, people don't even know what kind of things constitute proof, so I don't want to get too down on this guy, but let me do show you actual proof. This here is the lunar eclipse that I just captured on the 20th of January of this year, uh, 19. So... This is 100% impossible on a heliocentric world. It's, it, it doesn't make... It's 100% impossible. This is an impossible video. I took it myself. So when you orient yourself, I show the ground so that we can... Hey, there's the ground. There is the moon, and there's this shadow. What causes the shadow? No one knows. What we do know is that the heliocentrists have a poor explanation for what causes the shadow, though. And the, you know, it doesn't work. All right, so guys, be aware. Be aware of these people that are out here tricking us. That like these people lie a lot. I don't want to call this guy necessarily a liar. You know, I just got to his channel Indeed. and everything. But the thing is, is it's disinfo. He labeled this proofs. It, this is discrediting the flat Earth. It's not helping it. Not at all. Let me scrub through here. Look, see all the cartoons? There's no evidence here. We're, we're a bunch of memes, okay? Like, I don't want to get too far down on this <laughs> this guy for his work, but it sucks, honestly. Um, yeah, he's not even showing any video of the good proofs that he does have. You know, boats can't be seen because of perspective. Yeah, so what you do is you zoom in on a boat, and that's not even in here. So <clears throat> I just want to say beware of beware of this, because what's going on is 
our leaders, they don't tell the truth. They're, they don't tell the truth about things. Uh, the leaders in the flat earth community, they're not legitimate. Google's helping them get lots of views. Because I can tell you one thing, none of my videos have ever showed up in my feed at all. I'm subscribed, just I want to see what what's going to pop up. They never pop up. So what does pop up? Globebusters. Globebusters pops up. And I don't know if you know anything about those guys, but they will talk in circles forever about refraction. It's just, it's, they've been on this refraction loop for about two years now, something like that. And then when Jaron actually goes to do a debate with a baller, a baller who I smashed right into the ground, Red's rhetoric, wasn't even close. He literally never even brought any evidence that we live on a ball. So it's, it's the furthest thing from being a close debate that there could possibly be. And I'm going to admit to you here and now, Jaronism actually lost a debate. He's got to be the only flat earther to ever lose a debate. I've never seen anyone else lose a debate with a baller. Never seen it. Eric Dubé, is he trustworthy? Well, no, he really isn't. I'm going to tell you right now, 200 Proofs is just a copy of Robossum's work. Everything that you find in Eric Dubé's Flat Earth work is actually directly from the Flat Earth Society webpage. Whether it's the books that they link you with or their proofs, it's all the exact same. The only, div the only place where it diverges is Eric Dubé says that gravity is um, buoyancy and mass, uh, buoyancy and density, you know, relative drag caused by heat. Which, yeah, it's a, that's a real remedial answer, and it doesn't explain why there's a down. And that does matter, because we want to know. It's not that the ballers have any evidence for gravity, because they certainly don't. If they did, then it would be obviously easy to debunk, but there just is none. So there's no equipment that registers gravity, there's no, yeah, there's no nothing. So, like I say, I don't want to get too far down on this guy but about his work, but the truth of the matter is, when a person comes in and sees someone's logic is flawed, then they start writing it off. And then when that person sees the same flawed logic, across an entire community of flat earthers, then that's when they're like, this is stupid. They don't need to do any experimentation because they've already discovered that the logic is flawed. And while that is ridiculous, since they actually live on an earth that is flat and stationary, um, that's it's counterproductive, big time. So... Um, <clears throat> Yeah, until the ballers have any type of evidence for anything, we really can't <laughs> we really can't go too far off. Any of these points should at least lead somebody on the track to where they can figure it out for themselves. They really should, but they don't. I want to get to worse and worse proof because it's more important for a baller to realize how little evidence they have than it is for a flat earther to brag about how much evidence they have. You see what I mean? This picture right here, it's my lawn, and it is CGI, but it has to be. I don't own a level. And so because of this picture, I know that my yard is flat, all right? And that's proof. Uh, do I know if the entire city is flat? Well, no. However, I've never seen any humps. So I've never seen it rounded. There's never, there's no curve. I'm not, I'm not spinning at all. So because of all, all of that, I, I have to actually demand, like, okay, you have to accept this evidence you have a problem with it because it's only nine 
feet of my yard? Well, that's too bad. Where is your evidence that it, at some point it changes? There is none. There is none. There's the poor pictures out of NASA, obviously fake. So since you don't have any proof that Earth is a ball and that there's a curve somewhere, then this picture right here is all the proof that a person needs. 